Yo Quiero International Taco Bell. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We have a weekly podcast called Ear Biscuits. We laugh, we cry, we get real. Yeah. Listen on iTunes and Spotify and watch it on youtube.com slash Ear Biscuits. Ear Biscuits. For years, Taco Bell has been a lighthouse to hungry college students searching for ground beef and almost cheese yeah. in the middle of the night, but it's more than that. Taco Bell had a pop-up hotel in Palm Springs mm -hmm. and you can get married in a Taco Bell chapel in Las Vegas. I plan to. But Taco Bell's empire is not limited to just the US. There are Taco Bells all over the world serving menu items that most people have never slid their taste buds under. So today we're tasting the best of the best and seeing if we can tell if they're from the east or the west. It's time for Where, Where in the World Do These International, international Taco, Taco Bell, Bell Menu Items, items Come From? from? All right, we'll be eating one of a kind menu items that are sold at Taco Bells around the world. We'll guess which country each item is from by throwing a dart at our guests on the map. There it is. Chase the Taco Bell hop. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Chase, of Thank course, you. is gonna measure the dis distance to the right answer uh, from our guesses. And the person with the lowest score at the end will win a Taco Bell hot sauce packet jacket. And since you have gotten better at this, since I gave you that dart tip, uh, I lost last time, which means I'm going to get the special advantage dart, which is the Gorditart. What do we have here? Is it's this an ice cream cone with Taco Bell ingredients inside of it? Oh my goodness. That's chicken. It's fried chicken. I've never had fried chicken at a Taco Bell. Me neither, and it has cubed potatoes. Man, this is good. I'm enjoying myself, can you tell? Mm. That's good. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna dart it. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is part of this, right? All right. You don't just get to eat it. I'm guessing this is Argentina. I don't know why. Neither do I. I'm gonna go with Argentina. Okay. Don't cry for me. Ooh. Oh wow, you almost hit the compass. All uh, right, what are you thinking? I, I, I just think, uh, I don't know why I thought Argentina. It just uh, neither it, do it I. to me. I mean, most of the time when there's something that I would describe as almost culinarily audacious. Yeah. Again, we talked about this last time. I have this tendency to feel like it comes from the east, you know, because it's just like, whoa, ice cream cone with chicken in it. I, I don't know if we could do that in Iowa, you know. You know, if you go east far enough, you get to the west because it's. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. It, it's not actually situated like that. So I'm thinking this is Indonesia or Japan. Yeah. And it's the, fact, the fact that it's pink in Japan, I haven't been, I really wanna go, but they'll do things like, let's, you know, let's make it pink. All right, we're, de we're definitely gonna be on opposite ends of the world here. Bam! Whoa, and I went wow. way north. I mean, those are two very unsafe, <laughs> unhedged guesses. Stevie, what do we have here? You just ate a volcano tacon, which is a taco shell shaped uh -oh. into a cone stuffed with crispy chicken and potatoes. Uh oh. Tacones are served at Taco Bells in Kuwait. <laughs> what? Wow. It so sounded Spanish. I don't think anybody is gonna be, we're starting off with some pretty high school. Tacone. Well, Link, these what are, you are all going about? to be from Taco Bell, hey, so. Taco Tacone, cone. like cone of ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Tacone, definitely Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> we're both way off, though. Yeah. yeah. Link, you had 56, and Rhett, you had 38. Oh, well you were more off than I was. Yeah, I was. Wow, birthday surprise. So this, is this a dessert burrito? I would think so. It has sprinkles on it and chocolate. Oh, and that's a banana inside of it. Oh, and like a chocolate rolled situation. Dink it, sink it. Some things are just begging to be dinked. There's nothing Taco Belly about this except for the tortilla. That's nice. That's what they say when they think of something crazy. And Taco Bell, the, the person in charge comes in and he says, but is there a tortilla? <laughs> Antonio Banderas. Here you go. Hold on, I got chocolate on my hand. Oh! <laughs> Can't hold it forever, man. I just, I, I, you just I, dropped a dart. I wanna let you know that like. Six inches from so my I'm wing. Gonna, I'm gonna try to hand you stuff, but like I can't. I, I'm not always gonna be here for you, right? Um. Where would they do this? Where would they do something so audacious? Your wang. <laughs> Don't say your wang. 
Okej, okay. my tortilla. Nej, vad? Okej. Where am I going to go with a banana filled tortilla, chocolate and sprinkles? Something about this feels like uh, there's because of the banana, I'm feeling like a Latin American influence, which feels like it could be Colombia, Argentina, but could also be the way bananas were exported to Portugal. So I'm gonna aim in the middle of the Atlantic and hedge my bets. Oh. Look at that, you you buried it in the word Portugal. One of my trainers at the gym is from Colombia. She speaks really fast, I can't understand a lot of what she says, so I just kind of nod my head and do more push-ups. Right, okay. Hold on, and that's why you're, you're good. <laughs> uh, uh, but what's the, I mean, just because you know someone from a country, I know someone from Canada, but I didn't name for it. You know what, like, so make the connection. That's your problem. Ooh, a little low. They got bananas in Colombia. Yeah, they do. Right, Stevie? Definitely. Well, before I tell you the answer, I think we want to do a little experiment this week. Oh yeah, we sure do. Oh yes! We've got an idea to do an experiment all this week, starting today. Now we ask you at the end, or we thank you at the end of every video for yeah. liking, commenting, and subscribing. Right. But we want to see what will happen if we ask you to like this video, if you do like it, to actually click the like button. We, we, we know there's a lot of people who watch who don't actually like. You don't even have to be logged into an account on YouTube to like something. And so we're really wondering if we got everyone who actually liked it to like. And if you never liked, now's your chance. Let's see what happens. Um, who knows what we'll learn? How it interact with the algorithm? I don't know. So thanks Let's for learning something. Okay, Thank you. now you guys can have your answer. You just ate a banana rito. Ban banana rito. Bam, bam, burrito. Yep. yep. Yeah. Banarito. A banana Bang. coated in Nutella wrapped in a tortilla showered with chocolate sauce and topped with sprinkles. It is served at Taco Bell's in Cyprus. 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 And you know what? When I was in Thailand on a zip line, I met a mythical beast from Cyprus. Well, yeah, you should have picked the other person you randomly knew. <laughs> All right, Rhett, you had 19, and Link, you had 41. Well, Link, Dang it! you're falling behind. <laughs> now, this looks familiar. This looks like a quesadilla. Now, this looks like a crepe, my friend. Oh, wow, yeah, you got a, whoa, it sure does, hmm. doesn't it? Whoa! What's inside it? I'm gonna keep it folded. So it's ground beef and cheese in a crepe situation. That is really, really good. That's a savory packet of joy. That's not a tortilla though. <laughs> I think we might need to call the person who makes that decision. All right, so you're winning, so you gotta dart first. Um, where do they like crepes? Well, let's see, I, I think once- everywhere where they've tasted crepes. I once met someone from South Africa. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Were they eating the He, he talked so fast I couldn't understand a word he said, so I'm gonna aim for South Africa. No, I'm not going to aim for South Africa. Crepes are a European thing, man. Taking a little trip to the west coast of Europe, Portugal. Oh! 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 What? Hey, that's a, t that, I hit it. I hit it, y'all. I hit it. Is this I mean, the first ever bullseye? I hit it, I hit it. I mean, that's on top of the bullseye. Chase, where were you at, man? This was a moment. You're just sitting over there with your legs crossed. <laughs> making eyes at the camera. I know, watch the game. I got excited to Ben. I got, Ben and I had a moment. All right, you know what? I see, blocked you out of Portugal. You can't even aim there anymore. I know, it's like, I can't even see I don't the, care if you have met someone from there. Can't even see the hole. Now, if I knock your dart out and then nestle my dart in where yours was, will you relinquish and, and take the maximum number of points on the board. If you can knock my dart off and make a bullseye in Portugal, I will take 50 centimeters. Are you gonna watch this? I'm gonna watch. All right. I don't think it's gonna happen. Whoa! That was close! Dang it! Ah! Wow, whatever you did close. to do that, you should do it more often. Dang, man. Portugal's like a dart magnet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just ate a crepadilla, which is a quesadilla made with a crepe instead of a flour tortilla. Uh -huh. Beautiful. The crepadilla is served in Taco Bells in poor old Colombia. Oh! Oh! Dang it. 
And I'm a little closer to Colombia. <laughs> you sure are. But man, I'm so far behind. That is really good. I want to eat more, but I got to pace myself. We got more rounds. You guys see what I did there? I mean, I'm not saying Colombia is poor old. I, yeah. You know, you see what you, I, you just, that's, you, I wanted to clarify. It was just, you were what? just deceptive. Yeah. To You're toying with our emotion. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Rhett, you had 24 and Link, you had 23. So we're still pretty, where we were. Where we were. Okay, so this is the last one. I'm down by 40, 39 centimeters. Not looking good for you, Link. I know you've got the Gordita. Gordita. Maybe you want to think about giving it to your old friend, the Linkster. What is this? There's something orange in there. What is that orangeness? It's like yam colored. Is that a Cheeto? Is that a Cheeto or is that a yam? I think it might be a Cheeto that turned into a soggy thing. I like it though. Soggy Cheeto worm. But there's no crunch at all. It's just odd. Maybe if they had just made it. Two minutes ago and brought it out to you, there'd be some crunch. You're in the lead, so you get to go first. And you do have the Gordy Dart, which I can't take. Are you asking for it? <laughs> Okay, I Link. just need a fighting chance. You already had right. a jacket. You can have the Gordy Dart, and you can put as much sauce on it as you want. So you might want to go try, go ahead and start saucing that thing up because any place sauce hits counts as your answer. Which All gives right. you a very big advantage, by the way. I need it, dude. Thank you. Where are they gonna put Cheetos? It's a place where they know no boundaries, where they think outside of the bun. But have Cheetos, I, it seems like the kind of thing that would happen in Japan or Indonesia, but it also is Cheetos, which feels like such a like Western snack. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you're gonna probably get right on whatever it is makes me think I've gotta aim in the middle and play defensively here. Because right. if I go for one answer, West or East. Go for the gusto, man. Leave nothing on the table. Assert yourself, whatever. <laughs> Cyprus has been taken. You're just being defensive, all right. Oh my goodness, look at that. That thing is juicy. It's juicy, I'm just gonna flap her. I'm gonna flap it open, just like spread it out. That's good, I already ate the whole thing. Um, I think this is Canada, because they're just throwing Cheetos in things, you know, just like, oh, that'd be nice. We're nice, that's nice, let's do it. <laughs> okay. But, I, but again, I've gotta like spread the board. Oh yeah. This is not the most spreadable thing. It looks great though. Wa bam, wa bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. You knocked my dart off. Knocked your dart off, but it was uh, where was it? It was right here. And then mm -hmm. my, I got a little thingy there, and I'm going all the way up. Well, first of all, you got sauce in Canada. So if Canada is the correct answer, then you got zero. Yeah, that's right. Um, hey guys. Can, if it's on the east okay. part of the yeah, world. Help, help me push up here. Thank you, thank you. Stevie, what we got? Um, I wanted to make clear, because you can't see me, that I am wearing the jacket right now. Okay, good. okay, of course. Uh, good, good, good. I'm gonna have to, to toss this one to, to Davin, though, to reveal. Oh no. Hey guys. You just ate a Cheetos Crunchwrap slider made with seasoned ground beef with nacho cheese sauce, shredded cheddar cheese, and crunchy jalapeno Cheetos all wrapped in a flour tortilla, and this is served at Taco Bell's in Indonesia, Canada. Ah! <laughs> hey, what, what, what's your connection to Canada, man? He was speaking uh, Canadian. Don't we play with my again. heart like that. Do you know any French? Okay, so that means Link got zero. So I just have to get less than 39 to win. Yeah, so Link, you had zero, and Rhett, you had 43. No! <laughs> you know what? No! Thank you for giving me the Gordon uh, Dart. Uh, I'm 43 centimeters from Canada. Bring in my jacket. 43 Let me see my freaking uh, jacket. Here we go. Come on. I'm not giving up my I'm not giving up my uh my advantage dart next time. I'm never playing that way again. Never doing it again. Thank you, Rhett. I want a Taco Bell hot sauce jacket. Oh. Can't get me. Well, it looks great. I'll put it on later. We'll get it on. Thank you for liking, mostly liking, for the experiment. And coming and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Jesse. This is Taco. We're from Ohio, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. A chinchilla named Taco, Chase. only in Ohio. Chase, I got a chinchilla. Click the top link to watch us try crazy Taco Bell desserts from around the world in the mythical mall. And if I know where the wheel is gonna land. There was another side benefit with saying yes to the huge project of 
writing a novel. It really got us back in touch with the roots of our friendship. 